Hey everybody, it's Google55 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to speed up your boot process on XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Now, this is quite simple to do. Um, now, this will only work on XP, Vista, and 7. If you have something older, I can't help you. Um, or if you have Mac can't help you uh, because Mac I'm really new to so I'm not too familiar with Mac so I might have a later tutorial on how to do this for Mac I'm not sure about that though anyway so I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your startup boot time so the first thing that you're going to want to make sure is that if you go to start all programs startup make sure that there's nothing in here um, uh, if there's something that you absolutely need, um, as soon as you start up your computer, then go ahead. But if there's things in there like things that you don't need, all you need to do is right click the item and click delete. And that that can make your boot time a whole lot faster um, if you have a lot of things in there. Second, we're going to cut some startup services here. So. In XP, you're going to click Start Run and type this in, or in Vista and Windows 7, you just click Start and type it in the search box, type in msconfig, and right click Run as Administrator for Vista and 7. Now you're going to go to the tab that says Startup. Now under Startup, you're going to find a number of things that really don't need to be in, that really don't need to be loaded on startup like seriously google update steam Pando media booster i don't even know where that came from adobe reader A adobe acrobat google talk itunes microsoft life can quick time logitech gaming software lead video studio webcam max monitor whatever that is um selling media sync microsoft life can adobe cs4 service manager um and just delete all the applications that are familiar to you. If you're not sure, don't uncheck this. Um, as you can mess things up by doing this. Um, I think that's pretty much all. That, And then once you've done that, hit apply and OK. You can, and I recommend restarting. The next thing you're going to want to make sure is that your computer doesn't have any viruses. I, rem I, sorry, I recommend ESCT uh, Smart Security 4, but if you don't have that, I hate Norton to be honest with you, don't recommend Norton. If you don't have this, you can use Norton, it's just sometimes really annoying, so you know, you can use whatever you want, as long as it's a good, well-known virus scanner. Um, the one virus scanner though that I wouldn't use, the free version, AVG, it will remove some viruses, but it can't detect all the viruses. So you want to make sure that you want to make sure that your system is free of viruses. Uh, the last thing that you're going to want to make sure is that your hard drive is defragmented. Now to do this, uh, you go start all programs, accessories, system tools, disk defragmenter. And in here, what you're going to do is just click defragment, choose the disk that your default Windows partition is on, and then you're going to click defragment disk. And if your disk is pretty fragmented, which basically means that there are files that are placed and all sorts of things that shouldn't be there, and, you know, that sort of stuff, um, then your boot time can be a lot slower because Windows is searching around for certain files. And so. You always want to make sure that your disk is defragmented and not fragmented. So I hope these boot tips work for you guys, and I'll be out with another tutorial probably tomorrow. Goodbye.